Russia. And what did these companies do relative to the Clinton Foundation, Peter? Well, you had American companies that were putting technology and money into Skokovo, their version of Silicon Valley, and you had Russian companies and Russian government officials involved. Both on the American side and the Russian side, they are making major contributions to the Clinton Foundation to the tune of tens of millions of dollars. Some of them are also sponsoring speeches by Bill Clinton at the same time. Okay, did she have to sign off on these contributions as Secretary of State? Uh, I, I, she didn't sign off on the contributions, but she and the State Department negotiated and signed off on the memorandums of understanding, which allowed and had companies like Cisco and Google cooperating with this Russian tech initiative. Okay, now you say there was no smoking gun, right? Uh, you, you, you admit well, to that, but what, what you're arguing is that there is a pattern. Explain that, Peter. Yes. Well, that's right. So there are 28 companies that are U.S. companies that are going to get access to the Russian market to participate in Skokovo. Of 28, 17 are major Clinton Foundation donors. The head of the Skokovo initiative, a guy named Victor Vexelberg, on the Russian side, is a Clinton Foundation donor. And the problem, Bill, is that this tech cooperation both the FBI and the U.S. Army have come out and said that really this is, is really something that's done for the benefit of the Russian military. So this program enriches the Clinton Foundation, but also has serious national security implications. Well, now, let's explain that. You're saying the technology they develop in the private sector, specifically as it relates to how the Russian system is run, could be used in a, in a military sense. Is that the suggestion? That's right. It's, it's, it's so-called dual-use technology. This was an issue during the Cold War as well. You cooperate with technological development with the, with the Russians on, say, sensory equipment 